Tim, thank you. Two trials in two years. The former Providence Schools administrator accused of giving a teenager an unsolicited foot rub at a gym is awaiting his fate. Jury deliberations are now underway in the case of Olienke Alege, who decided whether or not he's guilty of simple battery. 12 News reporter Shino Lashuto sat in on that trial and has more now on where the case stands. Well, we saw this same case unfolding last year in district court. Back then, a judge found Olienka Alege guilty of simple assault, but his team appealed that, and now the call is up to a jury. Was the foot contact criminal? That's the question defense lawyers are asking the jury to consider. As Olienka Alege's second trial for his alleged foot rubbing case is underway. This is not the first time you've testified about this matter. Am I correct? Yes. All right. The former Providence School Administrator appealed his guilty verdict in district court after being convicted of simple assault last year. The case is now in Superior Court more than two years after the incident in question. A then 15-year-old boy told police Alege massaged his foot at a Warwick gym. Alege's lawyer reminded the jury multiple times the teenager didn't say anything to object. Was it criminal? Was it his intent at that time? to cause an offensive contact? Or was it his intent at that time to simply do what was engaged in the conversation? The teenager told police Alege approached him and asked about his shoes. Prosecutors say Alege knew what he wanted and went for it. That was his plan, that's what he did. It was offensive, it was unconsensual, <clears throat> he's guilty of simple battery. The judge is asking the jury to consider a simple battery charge, and this is a story we've followed since 2021. Alege resigned from his job as a network superintendent shortly after he was arrested. The allegations surrounding Alege eventually led to the termination of then Providence Superintendent Harrison Peters. Peters admitted to state lawmakers he knew about similar allegations when hiring Alege, but did not tell officials at right about it. So we had a long day in the courtroom today. It's now up to a 12 person jury to decide what happens here. The trial ended at about 315. Court usually ends around 4, 430. So jurors will be back here tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Jurors are now deliberating the fate of a former Providence School administrator charged with assault. As we've reported, Olienka Alege is accused of giving an unwanted foot rub to a teenager. 12 News reporter Sheena Lusciuto joins us now live from Kent County Court with what happened there today. Well, this case might ring a bell for you. This is the second time they're going through with it. We saw this unfolding last year, but through district court. Then a judge ultimately found Alege guilty of simple assault, but his team appealed it, and now it's up to a jury. Your was it criminal or was it just inappropriate? That's the question lawyers are asking the jury to consider as Olienka Alege's second trial for his alleged foot rubbing case is underway. This is not the first time you've testified about this matter. Am I correct? Yes. All right. The former Providence School Administrator appealed his guilty verdict in district court after being convicted of simple assault last year. The case is now in Superior Court more than two years after the incident in question. A then 15-year-old boy told police Alege massaged his foot at a Warwick gym. Several videos were reviewed as evidence, including interviews with police. Was it criminal? Was it his intent at that time? to cause an offensive contact? Or was it his intent at that time to simply do what was engaged in the conversation? The teenager told police Alege approached him and asked about his shoes. Prosecutors say Alege knew what he wanted and went for it. That was his plan, that's what he did. It was offensive, it was unconsensual, <clears throat> he's guilty of simple battery. The judge is asking the jury to consider a simple battery charge, and this is a story we've followed since 2021. Alege resigned from his job as a network superintendent shortly after he was arrested. The allegations surrounding Alege eventually led to the termination of then Providence Superintendent Harrison Peters. Peters admitted to state lawmakers he knew about similar allegations when hiring Alege, but did not tell officials at right about it. 
Now, the boy told police Alege did not have any consent to touch his foot, but the defense team says that the boy didn't say anything at the time. That was all explained in front of the jury. Court is done for the day. They'll be back here tomorrow morning. We're reporting live in Warwick tonight. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.